from the Violet Fairy book. The Princess Who Was Hidden Underground. Once there was a king who had great riches, which, when he died, he divided among his three sons. The eldest two lived in these riding, feasting, and thus wasted and squandered their father's wealth till nothing remained, and they found themselves in want and misery. The youngest of the three sons, on the contrary, made good use of his portion. He married a wife, and soon they had a beautiful daughter, whom, when she was grown up, he caused the great palace to be built underground. Then he killed the architect who built it. Next, he shut his daughter inside, and then sent heralds all over the world to make known that he who could find the king's daughter should have her as a wife. If he were not capable of finding her, then he must die. Wow. Many young men sought to discover her, but all perished at the attempt. After many had met their deaths thus, there came a man, beautiful to behold, and as clever as he was beautiful, who had a great desire for the enterprise. When he went to a herdsman, he begged him to hide him in a sheepskin, which had a golden fleece, and in this disguise to take him to the king. The shepherd let himself be persuaded to do so, and took the skin to having a golden fleece, sewed the young man in it, putting in also food and drink, and also brought him before the king. When the lamb, when the latter saw the golden lamb, he asked the herd, Will you sell me this lamb? But the herd answered, Oh, no, king, I will not sell it. But if you find pleasure within, I will be willing to oblige you, and I will lend it to you, free of charge, for three days. After that, you must bring it back to me. The king agreed to do this, and he arose and took the lamb to his daughter. When he had led it to the palace, and through many rooms, and came to a shut door, and when he opened, Open Satara Matara of the Earth! And the door opened itself. After that, he went through many more rooms, and again came to a closed door. The king again called out, Open Satara Matara of the Earth! And the door opened like the other, and they came into an apartment where the princess dwelt. The floor, the walls, the roof of which were all silver. When the king had embraced the princess, he gave her the lamb to her great joy. She stroked it, caressed it, and played with it. After a while, the lamb got loose, which, when the princess saw, she said, See, father, the lamb is free. But the king answered, It's his only lamb. Why should it not be free? And then he left the lamb with the princess and went his way. In the night, however, the young man threw off the skin, and when the princess saw how beautiful he was, she fell in love with him, and asked him, Why did you come here disguised in the sheepskin like that? Then he answered, When I saw how many people saw you and could not find you and lost their lives in doing so, I invented this trick, and so I can come safely to you. The princess exclaimed, You have done well to do so, but... You must know your wager is not yet won, for my father will change me and my maidens into ducks. And will ask you which of these ducks is a princess. Then I will turn my head and with my bill clean my wings so that you will know me. When they spent three days together, chatting and caressing one another, the herd came back to the king and demanded his lamb. The king went to his daughter to bring it away which troubled the princess very much, for she said they had played so nicely together. The king said, I cannot leave it with you, my daughter, for it is only lent to me. So he took it away with him and gave it back to the shepherd. Then the young man threw the skin from him and went to the king, saying, Sire, I am persuaded to find your daughter. 
When the king saw how handsome he was, he said, My lad, I have pity on your youth. This enterprise has already cost many young lives and will certainly be the death of you as well. But the young man answered, I accept your conditions, O king. I will either find her or lose my head. Thereupon he went before the king, who followed him, till they came to a great door. Then the young man said to the king, Speak the words, and it may open. And the king answered, Where are their words? Shall I say something like, Shut, shut, shut? <laughs> no, he said, say, Open start a mart of the earth. When the king said so, the door opened itself, and they went in. When well, the king gnawed his mustache and anger. Oh, I've done that before. When they came to the second door, where the same thing happened as the first, and they went in and found the princess. Then spoke the king and said, Truly, you have found the princess. Now I will turn her as well as her mates into ducks. And if you can guess which of these ducks is my daughter, then you shall have her to wife. Immediately the king changed all the maidens into ducks, and he drove them before the young man, and said, Now, show me which one is my daughter. Because he forgot his own. The princess, according to their understanding, began to clean her wings with her bill. And the lad said, She who cleans her wings is the princess. Now the king could do nothing more but give her to the young man's wife. And they lived happily together in great joy and happiness.